Okay, you got yourself a beaker, and inside the beaker, you've got yourself a solution. Now, if you could dissolve more crystals of, say, a solid into that solution, or that solvent to make a solution, put in more crystals, and they totally dissolve, you had yourself a solution to begin with that was unsaturated. But, if you can actually pour in enough crystal where... There's some sitting on the bottom of the beaker in the end, and no matter how hard you stir, they won't disappear. Now your solution in here is saturated. It's got as much solute as the solvent can take at that given temperature. But if you raise the temperature, you're probably going to be able to dissolve more solute in the solvent to make a solution. Okay, now, this solution, however, we say that even though it looks kind of static and nothing's happening, it's actually at a point where the rate of crystals dissolving into solution equals the rate of recrystallization at the microscopic level. You can't see it, but that's what's happening. That's called equilibrium, when the rate of forward equals the rate of reverse process. Now, that's a very important topic in, in, in senior advanced chemistry, and that's coming up on subsequent discs. Now, for right now, that is a saturated solution. But if you warm up the solution, you can dissolve those crystals on the bottom, put them into solution, and now it's saturated at a higher temperature. Oh! But what happens if you cool the solution back down to the original temperature? Do the crystals come out again? Not until you maybe put in a little seed crystal, plink, into the solution, and then recrystallization will occur around it. So what do you call a solution that contains more than the equilibrium amount of solute dissolved in the solvent? That's called supersaturated.